Do you want to increase your online presence? Then follow along. This is Sharon from Dr. Business Builder. Let's talk about increasing your online presence with a challenge. Now you may be thinking, a challenge? Everyone's doing a challenge. I don't want to do a challenge. I think you should do one. I'll tell you why. It's a great way to just increase your online presence. How? You're going to be getting others involved. You're going to be engaging others and that's all part of doing an online business, right? It's very different than being able to sit down on the table, you know, at a table and converse with people. It's just not how it goes when you have an online business. So how do you go about doing this? Well, what is your industry? What are your products and services that you offer? What type of information do you give on a regular basis to people and you hear the same questions over and over again? That should be incorporated into a challenge. Now, do you have to give away everything? No, absolutely not. Say, for instance, you know five ways of helping someone. In the challenge, maybe discuss two ways, you know, work around the two ideas. And then throughout the challenge, you could say things like, you know, I, I consult with others. I can you know, help you along. If you're looking to, you know, for, I, I have two tips here for this challenge, but I actually, I know of five tips. So if you want more information, reach out to me. Those are things that you can do throughout the challenge. But as far as the challenge goes, you wanna make sure that you're not constantly selling, right? This is all about helping others. And you really wanna give the best information because if they're already your clients, you wanna keep them engaged and keep them buying. If and you're going to ask them, you know, if you, please reach out to your family and friends. I'd love to have more on the challenge. Let's talk health and wellness. Everyone needs health and wellness, right? Some people work out, but most of us don't. We don't take care of ourselves. So you could do something like, you know, a seven day health challenge or a 28 day health challenge, whatever it's going to be. Do you have to have the whole thing mapped out ahead of time? You really don't. Start with one or two days. Look around, go on Pinterest, get some ideas of what type of challenges you can do. Google it, you know, a health and fitness challenge. However you want to do it, you'll get some ideas. You'll see what works, what doesn't work, and then take that information and run with it. What I mean run with it is once you have, you've done the challenge, you can tend take that and make it into an email sequence you know um, you could also do videos with it like come on YouTube and speak about some of those you could do an ebook right you can actually even make it into a course it could be a free course or if you want to add more information than what you did when you were giving it for free make it into a course a paid course and put that in a membership site so there's lots of different things that you can do as far as challenge goes. Always think out of the box. It's not just a challenge. What are you going to do with it? What's your end goal? Do you, are you trying to increase followers? Are you trying to increase your email list? Are you trying to make sales? Yeah, you're trying to do all of that. So a good way to do that is a challenge. Trust me, if you've never done it before, try it. Give a few days to advertise it. Think about what you want to do in this challenge. You're going to get ideas with what I mentioned before and just start doing it. Ask your family and friends to join. You need participation and you need engagement. And believe me, it just, it has to start somewhere. So just take that first step and do it. And from there, maybe you'll get ideas for other challenges. And like I said, you want to take that information, kind of package it up and repurpose it. All right. So those are the ideas. Go online, get some ideas. Definitely implement it. During the challenge itself, what can you do to make more engagement? It can't be about you. You wanna say things like, so how is the challenge going? Show me, tell me. Tell me is gonna be comments. Show me is gonna be images. And you yourself should be, you know, think about what, what challenge you have. How could people take images of it? If they can't take images of it, maybe think a little bit further outside the box because there's always ways to do images. And people like that. You know, you like say for instance, we were doing a health and wellness um, challenge. I could go on YouTube and watch videos. It's not the same thing because when you're in a, like say for instance, you're gonna do this in a Facebook group, you'll be seeing the comments back and forth. You'll be doing hashtags and, and with that information, you can also repurpose it throughout your other social media platforms. My suggestion would be the first challenge, do it on one platform, say Facebook, but there's nothing to say that you can't take those images, quotes, pictures, and then you know put them on Twitter, put them on Instagram, put them on LinkedIn, however you wanna do this. But always think you know next steps. The bottom line is you have to start somewhere like I mentioned, and you'll be able to do this. So I wanna hear in the comments below what type of challenges you've done, how they've been successful, what type of challenge ideas you have, and perhaps I can help you with that. And this 
whole channel is about increasing your online presence and how you can go about doing that without spending a fortune. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. All right. And also please subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified when I have um, a new video out. I am involved in a challenge right now. It's a 90 day challenge to do videos every day on YouTube. So wish me luck. I'll see you guys. Okay. Bye bye.